a lot of people were asking me how to actually make a bookmark look so in this video i'm going to show you exactly how you can scrape any links from a website so the first thing you want to do is you want to you need to make a bookmark look i will leave one in the description of this video but if you do want to make one yourself then this is how you do it so i'm going to say create a bookmark look function that takes all of the links from a page and copies them to clipboard so basically what a bookmarkler is it's an ascent it's essentially a piece of javascript code that can be saved as a bookmark and executed on the current page when clicked to create a bookmarkler that collects all links from a page and copies them to clipboard follow these steps so i'm going to copy this here okay and then you want to click right click here and go to bookmark manager and then you want to right click here and press add new bookmark and then you want to copy and paste this as the url the code and then you want to say link scraper v2 or whatever and then save that <clears throat> and then you should see that appear right here or if you don't have any bookmarks it'll be up here and then the way this actually works is in order to get certain internal links what you can do is well there's a couple of things you can do but this will require that you have this kind of information in your header okay if you don't then you'll have to find another page that has all of the things you want on it okay so another way you can do this is you can use the sitemap okay but specifically people seem to like the fact that you can grab the links of any page so let's say that i'm writing an article about vicuna and what i want to do is i want to include all of these products this is something that i wouldn't normally do but it just kind of solve, shows you how this problem is solved so we'll click here on the chevrons then we'll click link scraper 2 and then that says that's been copied and then we'll go to sheets.new another thing you can actually do is you can use google for this so you can do site to men .it, and then in title vicuna for example and then this will do the same thing but i'll show that in one second so let's control v this and you can see it's copied everything here these are collections though we want product so we'll do control f product and we can see here these are all the products um, on that page okay so then we want to clean this data so you want to copy the ones that you need so click on the first one that you need and then the last one that you need and then control c scroll to the top control a delete control v paste control f press these three dots find and then you want to find https two men dot it and then replace all and now you have what is known as a relative internal link now most people agree that this is the best for seo so now you can if you want you can just feed this directly into chat gpt okay so we, let's just make sure custom instructions are turned off yep i want to say write an article about vicuna use these internal links this is just an example obviously uh, you would use a much better prompt than this but yeah hopefully this will show what you can actually do and how you can kind of get your products and get your collections into your articles okay so i just said use an internal link in every um paragraph just so we can see there it is okay there's the internal link this is how you build kind of authority topical authority to all pages on your website you pick a neat you pick a blog post that talks about one of your collections or categories or products or you know themes or pages or whatever it might be and then you get everything that is relevant for that so another way that you can do that is actually using search operators i love search operators they really really help me do a lot of things but the same can be applied here so again we just click here and then copy so remember you can do this for any website and then control v and then scroll down a little bit and we'll see somewhere two men so it looks like they've been mixed in so what we're going to do is we're going to sort this set to a and then we're going to look for collections there we go so these are now all of the pages that talk about vicuna on the website so you'll see here it also has collections instead of just products it also has collections so this is ideal obviously some of these are de some of these are esko which is different languages etc but just an as an example um this is what you can do and then the final thing you can do is you can get all of the things in your header okay so this is something that people are also finding very very useful right now so you can click on let's say clothing for example let's say i want to do a i don't know best or like essential 
pieces that every classic menswear enthusiast needs. So we click on clothing, we click here, and we click Link Scraper V2 again, and then can, let's get rid of this. And then you can see here, we actually have all of these collections right here. Okay, so we'll copy this, delete this, paste this, and then we'll clean this data one more time. So click these three, HTTPS slash slash, and then your website. Without the final slash, there is no final slash here. It does need this final slash in order to actually create the internal link, just so you know. And then, yeah, this is pretty much how I do my topical authority play okay so now i have all the collections that are important to us right here it's 149 collections there are a few more but they're not as important maybe or whatever it might be and then i would just write an article with any of my prompts if you're interested in my prompts or interested in how i write content then please just watch this playlist right here i'll leave it in the description also this video will be part of that playlist it's this one right here, my most up-to-date chat GPT, SEO, keyword, blogging, etc. And some of the later content here is perfect for writing content, creating good content that will rank on Google, etc, etc. So I highly recommend checking out the playlist. The final step of this would be to post to your website. So although this article is really short and I wouldn't really use this, I would probably make it a bit longer, etc, etc, or just a bit better. There's no tables, there's no lists. You want to put it on markdown to html.com okay so you want to press the copy button here which copies the markdown and then you want to control v it into markdown to html then you can see it here you can edit it okay uh markdown is very very simple there's an explanation of how markdown works right here markdown is just basically a way to write html without really knowing html and so for example this you would want to change to probably an h2 or you're just going to copy it into your title for example this you'd want to do h2 for sure this would 100 have to be h2 this would also have to be h2 so you just put two uh what they called hashtags okay to make them h2 before really really simple stuff i learned this a long time ago and then once you've done that instead of copying the preview here that's wrong what you want to do is you want to click on raw html and copy and paste this directly into wordpress shopify doesn't really matter what you're on shopify has a, an html section within the blog and wordpress accepts html just as it would accept this as well now if you're wondering why you have to do it like that instead of just posting it normally the reason is that if you look at these links here they actually take the website that you're current that, that it's on okay so if you copied this it would actually be a link to markdown to html.com slash kiton beige vicuna code or whatever that's wrong okay but if you actually look at the html here you'll see this is just and what is known as a relative internal link it's relative to the website that it is placed on so i if i had an ex the exact same website with the exact same url just with a different um domain name this internal link would also work there okay so that's how that works and yeah that's pretty much my entire process um i wanted to make a little video about bookmarklets because a lot of people were asking me how to do it and um how i use it to add topical authority to my website they've saved me a lot of time especially writing for clients um or writing on specific topics on uh, two men it's really really useful so if i put something like sweater here for example and we, let's say we want to do a sweater article then you can see we can just grab all of these links that are to do with sweaters and maybe filter by collection or whatever it might be and yeah that's just a really really good way to add topical authority to your website through internal links thank you so much for watching guys and i will see you very very soon with some more content peace out